but I'm on a money taste. I ain't worried about you while you all up in my face. Still keep it real, I just had to get some space. I'ma make it to the top while you think they love to hate. Hey. So what's up y'all, it's Maya Ray. I'm back with another video and today I will be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail. And if you are new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe and become a part of our nation. Turn on the notification bell. And we all goodie in the hood. In the hood. So first I use the Fonto and the eraser app. Sometimes I don't use the eraser app because sometimes I don't erase my background. But sometimes I do. But first... What you want to do is take a picture before your video or you can take a picture after or you can take a picture from your video but it doesn't matter but me personally i don't really use the pictures from my videos because i don't really like what's in the footage well i like what's in the footage but i don't like it as a thumbnail like you gotta pop out you, your thumbnails are supposed to make people want to click on your videos but not clickbait so you're supposed to click on your video so first i use fonto and eraser app sometimes i erase the background sometimes i don't but anyways, first I'm going to erase the background on this video. I'm going to show you guys how I would do that. And yeah, let me get to it. I took a picture, this picture on my phone, which I'm on my iPad right now because I record on my phone. And yeah, so I'm going to go and open up the eraser app. And you just want to click this X because this ad always pops up every time. Okay, click the X and click the photo. It should look like this. And I'm going to crop it. I'm going to crop out the extra stuff I do not need. Okay, that's good. Okay, and you're just going to push the eraser app. You could turn up the capacity of the eraser. Now I'm just going to get to erasing this. I will get, get back with you guys after that. Okay, so now that you have your picture all, your background erased off your picture, now you want to go into Safari and I look up thumbnail backgrounds. And a lot of them pop, pops up, but I'm going to click. Hmm. I'm going to pick one because I have a few on here. Hmm. I think I want to choose this one. I'm just going to hold the picture down, wait till it says save image, click save image, go back into the Fonto app, and you just want to click that picture that you just got from Safari to go as your main picture as your background. And also, next you click the three lines on Fonto, and you click add image, and you get the picture that you have erased. The one you have erased. And you click it so it can get bigger. You push size. And you click it and press size and then turn up the size button. And then you go into Safari and look up Fonto logo transparent background. Okay, and then you find one. Sometimes you have to make, you have, no, all the time. Make sure it's transparent. You have to make sure it's the checker background. If it don't have, if it doesn't have a checker background, then it doesn't, it means it's not transparent. And you want to have a transparent photo because if you don't, then the background of the picture will be in your thumbnail. And you don't want that because that looks tacky. Okay, so next, once you find your Fonto transparent background picture, you click add image and you click the transparent picture you have chosen. And you click, you click size and make it bigger, smaller. But I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And you have to click it again if you want to tilt it. And I'm gonna tilt it at a negative 36 degree angle. And I'm gonna click the. You'll see it. The what is it called? The lines. I don't know what it's called. Checker. You call it checker. But it's not really checkered. You can click the checker part. So you click any part. But I click the checker part. And you want to type a. You want to click edit text. And then you want to put how to make thumb nails. And I'm going to push a question mark and an exclamation point. And you don't have to name your thing this. But since this is what my video is on. I'm going to add that in there. And. 
this is really simple. You can add any extra things you want. And oh, oh yeah, also you have to look up the eraser app since you use that. So trans eraser transparent app. Because it might pop up as a regular eraser and and you want to click the one with the M because this is the app you have. Well, this is the app I got gave to you. Okay, the app should have an M on it with an eraser, like erasing the M with a checker, but I can't find a transparent one, so it's not transparent, of course. So guess what? I'm gonna have to go into the eraser app. And erase the own app. Not erase the app, but erase the own background of the app. But this should be easy because it's a um regular shape. It's just like this. And you can crop it so it can be easier to do. I won't crop this. You won't let me crop it. What's up, man? What's wrong with this? I'm gonna close that app because it's acting weird. I'm gonna reopen it. And this ad always plays, like I said. And you want to click the X when the ad plays. Okay. I don't want to listen to that. But anyways, click the picture again. Crop it for real this time since it wouldn't let you me do it that last time. You could crop it as close as you want to the picture. So you won't have to do a lot of erasing. Yeah, and that's what I made it look like that. Okay, and then all you gotta do is erase the really the corners and easy. I might not do it really neat, but because it's just a freaking thumbnail. You won't really see how sloppy I did it. So it doesn't even matter. But I'm gonna erase the corners. Cause you cropped it. And then you just want to go and click the box with the arrow going up. And you want to click the one that says PNG transparent background and click high resolution and it should save. And then you want to go back into Fonto since I couldn't find transparent background. And then you go back to Fonto, click the three lines, click the one you just erased the background and you just want to add it in. Mine isn't really that neat, but I really didn't really mind about this. Now I'm going to tilt this one also. But yeah, this is how you make a thumbnail. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Hope you guys like this video. And if you like this video, please smash that like button and that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me how you like this video. Give me any feedback and tell me anything, any video ideas you want me to do. If you want me to keep doing videos like this, I will keep doing them. Anything that you guys want. I will do, man. Unless it's something serious. I'm not doing anything extreme. But, yeah. Comment on any videos. I'm trying to get some merch made. Hope you guys like this video and my merch that I'm trying to get coming out. And, yeah. It's Ray Nation two times. Period. Period. Period.